purpose of this video is to demonstrate how to easily set up a simple bracket in the Infinity AT Dome. So the simple bracket is probably the most commonly used automated order management function that we offer here at Infinity. Simple bracket implies one stop and one target, simple as that. So here's how you set it up. Here's what we're looking at. On the left hand side I have an S&P Dome here, the ESH6. On the right hand side I've got the March E-mini NASDAQ and then we've got a NASDAQ chart in the background. What I'm going to do is, on the NASDAQ dome, select from this drop-down list, Simple Bracket. When you select Simple Bracket, a couple of fields come up here that you can select uh, quantities for. One is Profit and one is Stop Loss. Really, really easy. This is all in ticks. So, for example, if I want to try to make two full points in the NASDAQ, which is eight ticks, and I'm willing to risk two full points in the NASDAQ, which is also eight ticks, I just put those fields in here. Okay, I'm going to do the same thing for the S&P because what I plan to do here is do positions in different uh, directions so we can see movement on each. So we've got simple bracket, we've got profit, stop loss. Now just make sure auto is checked. Auto is what controls whether or not this order is going to be, these orders rather, the bracket is going to be sent out around the position once your fill is received. You need to be logged in and you need to have the dome up for this to work properly. Okay, so it's really important you stay logged in and you have the dome up if you want brackets or any kind of automated functionality to work properly. So now all I need to do is identify a place where I want to enter the market. I could either say, all right, I just want to buy one at a specific price, which is reminding me to enter a quantity here at 66.50, for example. And in this case here, we just wait for the market to come down to 66.50, get a fill, and then uh, the bracket will go. If I am getting impatient, okay, I could either move the order closer to the market cancel it all together. Um, I could just use the buy and sell market button. So here is an example. I'm just going to do a little bit of what I, looks to be a sort of a counter trend thing here on the NASDAQ and just sell one at the market. So I push sell market and instantly we see the fill price which is 68.50 that's highlighted in yellow with an asterisk and you can see that you're short one because you have a red negative one here in the left hand margin and then you see the price you're short at here as well 46.68.50 and you see that uh, as well on the dome. The stop is at 70.50, eight full ticks away. See that, eight ticks away, that's because we have a stop loss of eight, and our target is down here, eight ticks away as well. This is our profit target. So now, we just wait, all right? We just wait for one of these orders to get filled. The order uh, that opposes will automatically be canceled, and you can still modify these orders. So if the market starts to weaken, and you want to tighten the stop up a little bit manually, you can still move it down like this, and it will still remain OCO with this target. All right, over here, let's say I wanted to buy one in the opposite direction, so we're buying the S&P. Same thing, we get a fill at 68. You can see our fill price here, we're long. This is a blue plus one as opposed to a red negative one. Okay, that blue plus one indicates a long position. Our stop is at 66, eight ticks away from uh, 68, and our target at 2,070, which is eight ticks uh, to the upside, which is our profit target. So. This is a great way to manage multiple positions in the same market at this, or different markets at the same time using our platform. These all op uh, function independently of each other, and uh, it's a really nice way to be able to put orders in in a, uh, several different markets at once and still be able to properly manage your risk. So here, I would just, again, just let these play out. If one of them gets hit, the other one will automatically cancel. Let's just speed it up a little bit by tightening up our stop loss here and see if we get filled at 69. So we just got stopped out at 69 and notice the target is gone. We have no more open trade value and our position also is gone as well. We're still in the S&P trade, but the NASDAQ trade has been closed. So again, just to do a quick example, we'll sell one more. Okay, we just sold one at the market. We're filled here at 69.50. Stopped out real quick on that one. Okay, you can see as the market was making a new high. So it's very, very easy to manually place these orders and have the brackets go out automatically. We find that our clients take trades on our platform uh, that they might not have uh, taken positions on in other platforms because they didn't have confidence in the software to manage this stuff manually. As you can see, this is very quick and very light. All right, so that's a great example of the simple bracket. Uh, we're going to cover other automated order management techniques in other videos. Thank you.